With the Rugby League Four Nations final just days away, hundreds of Kiwis filled Wellington's Midland Park for a chance to meet the players at the city's civic reception. Yeah, we finally made it. Uh, we got a little bit lost. The bus driver took us on a bit of a tour of Wellington, but uh, yeah, good to see some fans. A few of them got our autographs and had a photo with us, so that was good to see. Yeah, it's good to see the, uh, the people of Wellington coming out and, and supporting Rugby League. Uh, there's not a great deal of games I don't think have played out this way, and um, uh, hopefully there's a good crowd turns out for the weekend. Yeah, uh, before uh, my, my career took off, I started here as well. So it's good to come home. I've got a lot of, a lot of family around here as well. And, uh, it's good to see them and uh, it's good that the uh, community is getting out and getting behind us. Like everywhere we, we played, uh, it was great to have the reception that we did. And uh, it's awesome, our, our people are always behind us. And uh, hopefully we can get a big crowd out there on uh, Saturday. Saturday's game will provide an opportunity for both teams to show Wellington why rugby league is the greatest game of all. New Zealand's uh, a massive rugby union. Um, Foundation, so hopefully we can get as much of the boys behind that as we can. Yeah, they've got such a successful team here uh, in, in the rugby union, so hopefully we can convert a few and, and who knows, there might be some more test matches here in the future. With reports coming out that some of the Aussies have fallen sick, they still insist there's no reason to worry. Yeah, probably not ideal preparation for the guys. Um, there's about, I think, five or six blokes that have gone down crook. There's not much we can do about it. He's sort of the doctors and, um, and the coaching staff are, uh, have got it under control, I, I hope. And, um, you know, training's been put off this afternoon, but um, hopefully we'll have all hands on board tomorrow. Amy Lindsell, NRL.com.